Welcome to the June 2009 Classic Series Wine Tasting. I'm here with my co-host, Ed Masiana. Co-host. Same thing. Hey, we missed you at the Vegas Wine Tasting today. Did you ever? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you weren't invited. That's probably that why I wasn't there. there. Yeah, I was, I was pounding outside on the door asking yeah. to get in, you know. Um, uh, Mom and Dad came. Oh, really? Well, then I should have uh, gone. They had a great time. And uh, Where was it? Ruth's Chris. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. The, the funny thing was that one of the customers, when he left, was so enamored that he hugged my mom. Never met her before. Just, like, couldn't believe that this was happening and had such a great time. <laughs> hugged my mother. She was very thrilled about that. So we're going to taste today the uh, Chilean Chardonnay from San Alicia 2008. Wow. So they're six months ahead of us anyway, right? So we're actually talking about wine that's probably been in the bottle for nine months now. Um, yeah, probably. Well, um, maybe not, because this wine actually sees some fr French and American oak, but not so much to where that's all you get. You get some really pretty peach, pear kind of fruit component out of this wine. Really, really nice, nice, as a matter of fact. So it's probably only seen three or four months in oak. They didn't, they didn't tell me. that. I guess that's a proprietary secret. I don't know. Big but, hit in yesterday's staff tasting was the San Luis Chardonnay. And I don't like Chilean Chardonnays, typically. I, I'm, I'm, I'm liking Chilean wines more and more. Sauvignon Blancs were always really good, and now the Chardonnays are starting to come up to it. You know, it's, it's really, a, really a nice wine. Beautiful color. You know, I mean, it looks like a serious bottle of wine. It's got, you know, kind of a golden hint to it. But I love the nose. Love the nose. Usually they're too austere. You don't get a lot of Chardonnay character when it comes to Chilean Chardonnay. Sauvignon Blanc is the great wow. white grape of this part of the country. But this just has tons of character. And Lovely. Part, I mean, nice acidity too, and it's got um, you know it's got a lot of nice flavors in the finish. And this is also a wine I think in a year is going to get even better. Mm -hmm. You know, it needs another year in the bottle to round out those fleshy flavors. Great wine with. Um, with any kind of shellfish or even, you know, imposing sauces. You could throw tomatoes at this. That's great. I wine. could throw tomatoes at you too, as a matter of fact. Well, we had this, that's happened before. <laughs> Did it in Venice, actually. Okay. Uh, you know, what? retail price, twelve ninety nine typically on the shelves if you can find it, which you won't find in a lot of places. Your first one out, nine ninety nine. Reorders are six ninety nine. You're not going to find this for six ninety nine. That's a bargain because it's, it's California counterpart. It's going to be $12. It'll easily. Now, I gave an 87, but I'm bumping things up. I keep bumping them up and I say 89 today. Yeah, okay. I'm going with a 90. I think this is a really... Because what, what are you, what are you uh, comparing it to? You're comparing it to, you know, Le Mans Rocher from France or, you know, Chateau Montalena Chardonnay? No, just that... Uh, no, you got to... Chateau gotta, Montalena Chardonnay picked by a one-handed... Yeah, a guy. Sagittarian yeah, right. on a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. No, this great is a great wine. bottle of wine and an unbelievable price. What's your rating? You said 90? 90, yeah. All right, I'll go with the 90 on that one, too. The red wine this month, oh, another huge this hit. This was unbelievable. For the uh, oh, I'll, staff table. I'm a professional. I do this for a living. This is right All right, right fine. We'll go. do our red wines now. Okay. Uh, Windy Ridge Cabernet, 2006, Central Coast, which you really get in the nose and in the body of this wine. Just a very opulent, big wine. Not a lot of acid in it, I don't think, but just, I think, a great value in the Cabernet world. Well, the first time I tasted this, and I look at the price, I mean, you know, what is this, seven ninety nine on a reorder? Mm -hmm. I mean, I went, what? what is this? And then I, you know, I, I finally called the winery and I said, hey, what's going on? Who made this wine? Well, it turns out to be Larry Brooks. Larry Brooks, one of the founders of Shalone Vineyards, 30 years ago, phenomenal winemaker, went on to be head of Shalone and, uh, and, and, and founded Acacia. Um, incredible stuff. I mean, the guy really knows how to make wine. He was making those incredible Pinot Noirs from, from um, uh, Carneros back in the, in the 70s and 80s. And they were one of the hottest uh, wineries going. Larry knows how to make wine. I love the black cherry in this, mm. right? Mm -hmm. Put that with a little Coke, and then you got yourself a little cherry Coke, right? You know, you could take that a lot of different ways. I don't think I'd go no, there I mean, if I were you. Oh, good, okay. Uh, this is know, a spectacular bottle of Cabernet. We talk about deep purple in the newsletter, but I can't afford a deep magenta, maybe a ruby color now. It's yeah, it is, it is more magenta than it is. Uh, maybe it was the black glass I was using to taste mm -hmm. it. You know, it could have something to do with mm -hmm. it. But absolutely unbelievable Cabernet. Real forward fruit, jammy a little bit, a little Very berry, jammy. you know. Um, kind terrific of wine. Testimony that's hot weather a little bit in the central coast there, probably inland a little bit. But I think it's a great value, and the yeah. first one was uh, ten ninety nine, and the rest are seven ninety nine. Unbelievable! Just, it's great. Both of those you are. You cannot get a floor stack at pavilions for seven ninety nine like this. Probably not. I don't think you know, so. I don't know. I don't shop at pavilions, but well, and most of these people don't even know what pavilions is. That's true. Like Ralph's uh, <laughs> wherever. Yeah. So we'll see you in Vegas next time. Absolutely. Right. Is your mom and dad going to be there? And I give her yes, a hug they too. Will. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh, the rating for this. 
is uh, I give eight. God, you know, I'm. I wrote my last email special that I'm very stingy, and this is wrong. This is at least a 91 point. Absolutely, yeah. a 92 for me, or yeah. three, 93. I mean, really, you don't get Cabernet like this, yeah. and forget the price. Time. I mean, just never mind about the price because the price is, is is crazy. But you don't get Cabernet for the, um, that good anywhere. You know, it reminds me a little bit of the Michel Schlumberger from last month, yep. which is still, yep. I mean, an unbelievable value in the Vintner series, and that was like 13.99 or right. something. Oh, man, killer price. See you in Vegas. Okay.